In this video, we are looking at the reflection of light. The law of reflection states that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. In other words, I equals R. If you look at this diagram, there is a mirror with an incident ray coming from the left, which is being reflected, shown by the ray to the right. Importantly, there is a normal that intersects the mirror at 90 degrees. Now the incident angle is the angle between the normal and the incident ray, and the reflected angle is the angle between the reflected ray and the normal. Now the images formed by mirrors have three important properties. They are upright, laterally inverted, which means the left becomes the right, and they are virtual. So what is a virtual image? A virtual image is an image formed at a place where the light rays appear to come from, but they do not actually come from that point. So if you look at this diagram, there are two reflected rays coming from the point object in the left hand side. They are reflecting off the mirror and entering the observer's eye. If you extend the rays that go into the eye to the other side of the mirror, you will see they converge or come together to form an image. This is a virtual image because the light rays never actually go onto the right hand side of the mirror, which is why they are shown with a dotted line. There are three ways to identify virtual images. The image cannot be projected onto a screen. The actual light rays move away from each other. And the light rays do not actually pass through the image. There are two types of reflection you must know about. Firstly, specular reflection. This is when parallel incident rays are reflected in the same direction and move away from the surface parallel to each other. Secondly, there is diffuse reflection. This is when parallel incident rays are scattered and leave the surface in all directions. So, time for a quiz again. What is the law of reflection? Which angle, A, B, C or D, is the angle of reflection? Give three properties of the image formed in a mirror. And finally, what is a virtual image? If you are aiming for a grade 8 or 9, you must make sure that you can draw the first two ray diagrams shown in this video from memory. They are diagrams for a point source. See if you can find out how to draw a ray diagram for an extended source, i.e. draw the rays coming from the top and bottom of this arrow. Also follow the link in the description to try an exam question.